Welcome, welcome to Hat Hair Gaming. We're doing Crisis 2 today. And uh, what I'm going to do or bring to you guys today is uh, what I think, what I like, what I hate. And uh, I know it's a little late. The game's been out for a week, but well, uh, I just decided to get it now because I wasn't going to buy it. And <laughs> look who bought it. I did. Sad face. But anyway, uh, first question that I feel like that would be a, an actual question because I don't have enough subscribers to actually ask me questions. Um, will I be playing more Crisis 2 constantly? Yes, I will. Um, Killzone will be put away for the time being. I'm not selling it yet, but we'll see in the latter part of the week here what's going to happen. Um, now, about the graphics. Everybody goes graphics, graphics, graphics on, you know, Crisis 2. They look good. I ain't going to, you know, say different. But I don't think they're that good. I don't know why people are like, wow, the graphics are amazing. Same thing with Killzone. They're like, wow, the graphics are amazing. To me, this is what is expected in today's games. This is what I think I should see. So I'm not blown away by any means. I like them. I think it's good. But anyway, they're graphics. This is this is what's expected with today's you know stuff. If they're bad, complain about them being bad. But I have not yet been overwhelmed by the graphics on a console game yet. <coughs> well, excuse me there. Apparently I had to cough. oof -da. I think I might have died. No, I'm okay. Um, now, about uh, the different, you know, things you can do on Crisis today. <clears throat> cloaking. I hate cloaking. I think it's stupid. Don't like it. I hate it. Um, if you get an upgrade, you can cloak and be 100% invisible if you don't you're just like wavy invisible which is useless because you just see a wavy grossness coming your way it's like a blob um <clears throat> that doesn't work you just get shot so don't even bother cloaking unless you do the attachment cloaking uses a lot of energy which i like because that means you have to uncloak quite frequently which means you know that then in return you have to be able to be seen which you're going to get killed is ideal um, I know they're trying to go for different things, but I think cloaking is stupid when you can't see the person there. Same thing with Killzone. I didn't like that when people would be invisible. Granted, I did it, but I mean, it's part of the game. But I just, I didn't like it. I, I don't like cloaking kind of as a general thing. Now, it's not, you know, entirely bad, I guess, on this game, but it's not the, a strong, it's not helping the game by any means. So, long story short, not a fan of the cloaking deal. I think it's a joke. Anyway, get off cloaking. Now they have, as you see me, probably pick up a few times, and if you guys know what the game is, there's dog tags. Now what you have to do with these dog tags is collect them in order to get kill streaks. Because if you kill the guy, it isn't going to give you a kill streak. You have to collect their dog tags. Love this. Makes people move around, go out in the open absolutely love this now you don't have to do it but you don't even earn the kill streaks which everybody wants so anyway i really i really enjoy it i think it's a very very good idea i'm very happy with that um now with going <coughs> going off from the dog tags it's your kill streaks everybody gets the same three kill streaks fantastic a very even gameplay there it's not promoting camping because you have to go out you know to get the dog tags that's um great and then I think being as a team effort you don't have to go and buy your kill streaks which I kinda like because everybody is treated equal at the beginning and that you know it's kinda cool I, I like the I like the kill streaks on it then the weapons I haven't been um, I'm actually kinda pissed off about I'm very unhappy with the weapon selection that they offer I don't see a different a huge difference in the you know the different weapons that they offer um, but again I'm still pretty fresh and I'm only level 7 I've only played a few rounds. I've always liked the M60s. That's just my thing. I like the full big clip and spray and pray and hold on, you know. Um, so that's what I'm using right now. The assault rifles I wasn't impressed with. I can use assault rifles, don't get me wrong, and I probably will eventually. But um, when I want to enjoy gameplay and get a lot of kills, I like to use M60s for most things. So that's what I like. Um, <clears throat> but I don't see... I don't know if I haven't just unlocked them or what, but I only see one, you know, machine gun and two assault rifles, and uh, I'll look into that more, and I'll bring that up later, you know, what I think of those kind of weapon choices, but 
to me, there's there's not enough guns. I mean, you don't need a lot, because I don't like a lot, because it makes it too unbalanced. It gives it, you know, something different, but then it makes it unbalanced too. Their SMGs, though, seem to kick ass from long range. That's weird. And the M60 sucks from long range. So that's, that's kind of shitty. But, beyond the point, um, the melees, you have to melee somebody twice, like and dislike, because I don't like people just going around and knifing people, but when you are the person that needs to go around and knife, um, it sucks when you gotta hit them twice. So that's, that's an inconvenience, but I can tolerate that. That's okay in my book. Um, and then I do want to bring up a random subject to those of my subscribers. I recently had some people finally, I gotta admit, you know, I've been waiting for it, give me a thumbs down on my uh, couple of my movies, clips. And I think it was a woman, because I first noticed a thumbs down on my sexist clip that I had, and, well, you know, that's kind of part of the game, but you guys want to take me on, I want to, I want proof that women drive better than men, because I, I don't see it. I don't think so. Okay, but they thumbed down like four random clips, and right now that actually hurts because of the fact that I only have three thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? So um, if you like my stuff, please give it a thumbs up. For those people that don't, you know, leave a comment. You know, be a man and kind of. I want to know what's going on because if you don't like something, that's okay. But giving a bad rating because you don't agree with what I say isn't. I mean, that's just the fact that. I'm right, and that's the way it's going to be, so you're going to have to deal with it. And, uh, hold back for my epic failures of jumping. I was trying to figure out how to get up on here. I just want to leave this part of the clip in to show that you can't just, you know, jump on there. You have to kind of climb up. Um, but anyway, someone gave me a couple thumbs down, so to subscribers and people that enjoy my videos, please give a thumbs up because that's what I need. It helps a lot, and I'll be pushing out more Crisis 2 throughout the week here and we'll see how it goes and so far I'm enjoying it I like it as an overall game on the gameplay and I've only played TDM so stay tuned for more stuff coming on I'm probably gonna have to do some part twos because the rounds seem a little long um, but anyway that's what I feel about Crisis 2 and I'll bring to you more you know what I feel during my live commentaries and cusses um, and things like that but uh Thank you guys for viewing Hat Hair Gaming today and check back in for more Crisis 2 updated every day.